Hi there. Now, in this question, we've got to use the trapezium rule with two strips, each of width 4, to show that an approximate value of this integral of 4 root x with respect to x between the limits x equals 1 and x equals 9 is 32 plus 16 root 5. OK, well, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now, to appreciate this question, or any question on the trapezium rule, what I like to do is generally draw a quick sketch. And in this particular question, in fact, we've got to draw a sketch anyway in part two here. OK, it says use a sketch of the graph to explain why the actual value of this integral is greater than 32 plus 16 root 5. So what does the graph of y equals 4 root x look like? Well, it starts from the origin, when x is naught, y would be 0, and then it's going to be part of a parabola on its side, something like this. So this will be the graph then of y equals 4 root x. And we're looking for the area bounded between the lines x equals 1, which we'll say is here, and x equals 9, which I'll say is there. It's not drawn to scale, but hopefully it just gives you the idea of what's going on. Now, we've got to work out an approximation to the area using two strips, each of which four units. So if I go four units from one, that's going to take me to the midpoint between one and nine, which is going to be at x equals five. So if I construct the trapeziums for each of these, we've got one trapezium there and one trapezium there. So we're looking at working out this shaded area in each of these two trapeziums then. And to do this, we should be familiar with the trapezium rule, which very briefly is this, that the area under the graph is approximately the width of a strip divided by 2, all multiplied by the first height, plus 2 times the sum of the middle heights, plus the last height. So when it comes to working out this approximate area between x equals 1 and 9 for part 1, let's first of all just put down the integral. That is the integral of 4 root x integrated with respect to x going between the limits x equals 1 and x equals 9. It's going to be approximately then the width of a strip, which is going to be 4 units. We halve that, OK, so we divide it by 2, and we multiply this all by the first height, which is going to be this height here, when x equals 1. When x equals 1, if you substitute in here, you're going to get 4 times the root of 1, which is going to be 4, but I'm just going to show the working here as 4 root 1. And then it's plus twice the middle heights, the sum of the middle heights. Well, there's only one middle height here. So to work that out, we need to substitute x equals 5 into here. And so it'd have y equaling 4 root 5. So we've got 4 root 5. And then it's plus the last height. So the last height is when x equals 9. So you're going to have y equaling 4 root 9. Well, root of 9 is 3, and 4 threes are 12. But again, I'm just putting that in like that, just to show the working. So, what is this going to simplify to? Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and what we've got here is 4 plus 4 threes are 12. So that's going to be 4 plus 12 is 16. And then you've got plus 8 root 5. And... If we expand this, we now end up with 32 plus 16 root 5, which is what we had to show here. Now in the second part, it said use a sketch then to explain why the actual value of this integral is greater than 32 plus 16 root 5. Well, we've drawn our sketch here then, and you should be able to see that because 
of the shape of the curve and the way I've drawn the trapeziums inside that the area of the trapeziums is going to be less than the area contained between the curve between x equals 1 and 9 because the curve is above the tops of the trapezium. And so we'll just write that in that the curve okay, is above the tops okay, of the trapezia. Okay. So that's part two. Now for part three, it says use integration to find the exact value of the integral then of 4 root x with respect to x between x equals 1 and x equals 9. So again, you might like to have a go at this. If you haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for part 3 then, let's just copy down that integral. The integral then of 4 root x integrated with respect to x between the limits x equals 1 and 9. So to do this, I'm going to pull out the constant 4 out the front of the integral. You don't have to do that, but I do think it makes it a lot easier to work with. And then root x, I'll change that to x to the power half. And we're integrating that with respect to x. So in the usual way, when we integrate anything of the form x to the power n, we have 1 to the power, so that's going to be x to the power 1 and a half. I'll write it as 3 over 2. And we divide by the new power. So that's divided by 3 over 2. And we'll just finish off those brackets. And the limits are between x equals 1 and x equals 9. So 4 divided by 1 and a half or 3 over 2 is exactly the same as 8 over 3. And then if we substitute our values in, x equals 9 first of all, we've got the square root of 9 all cubed. I'll just write that in as the root of 9 then all cubed. And then we subtract what we get when we put x equals 1 in. So it would be the square root of 1 all cubed. So root of 1 all cubed. Okay. So we end up with 8 thirds. And now we've got the root of 9 is 3. Cubit is 27. The root of 1 is 1, cubit is 1. So 27 minus 1 is going to be 26. And 8 times 26 is 208. So you've got 208 divided by 3. Okay, 